so I will talk about uh, this project that uh, we, uh, it's a 200 million euro private investment project in such a thing as women's sports and how and I, that what I will talk about it, uh, how did, did this came up and uh, <clears throat> what it's going to be. Let's see if this is working. How much did it? And uh, uh, my, my profession is that I, I like uh, Mission Impossible things. When people say that it's impossible to do, then I, I really like uh, I get into it to see well, what, what can we do, are we thinking right? And, and, and I I'm, have been quite good, I think, outside the, the normal normal way. And I think that that's what you could, probably could take with you uh, from, from my presentation here, is that how should I think and how do we normally think or could I think another, another way? Uh, my background, I um, work with a lot of exhibitions, I work with sports, I've been a sailor for all my life, a professional sailor, I've been sailing on vacation two times, I think, but uh, I did bring the, the, the corporate platforms for a lot of international companies and work with sponsorships, um, and I did uh, bring the America's Cup event, the Luton Axe to Malmö uh, in 2005, in 10 months uh, we did a lot of fantastic uh, scenery, we did get the city and the region to invest uh, 100 million Swedish crowns in the project. Uh, and we did get America's Cup organization to put an event in, in Malmö, Sweden, instead of in uh, Germany, which is a bigger market. <laughs> event I did get a lot of uh, uh, contacts, people contact me, organization, and one of them was uh, the Malmö uh, football team, the female football, Premier League football team, who has uh, huge difficulties, and that was not my, I, I didn't uh, like football, I don't uh, go to football, I didn't, uh, of course I don't go to women football, uh, so I, I uh, but I, I like Mission Impossible. So uh, they explained this situation for me, they been thrown out two years earlier from, from the male football team, because they said we will not have any female thing, we will only concentrate on the core business that's male football. And, uh, and uh, they, they explained all these uh, parameters, uh, and I, I, I looked into it and I asked a lot of questions. So why do you say football and women football? Why is it not football and then you have uh, girls or boys playing? And, uh, and uh, what is football, a ma male kind of thing? Football is a very local thing. The more you love your own team, the more you hate the other team, the more you go to the, the, to the game. And to consume football, it's also a major thing. You sit like we're sitting now. Uh, you're sitting in, in a row, looking forward. Uh, if a female architecture have made it the same arena for, for uh, girls and ladies to, to, to watch a game, they would be probably more in contact with each other and the game. But it's, it's, it's all, all the sport thing really is a main kind of... And it is. Of course, 100 years ago, uh, uh, girls were not allowed to be the Olympics, at the Olympics. So, so, but you have to look at it, uh, it in another way. And, and how does a sponsor way look? I mean, in Sweden there is a, a beer company, and a, one of the big sponsor to one of the football teams, and they cannot give beer to the other teams, su supporters, and they lose a lot of money, because they drink a lot of beer in football. Uh, <clears throat> so I took, took a, and created a new, new concept, and it was like, we have to have a new audience, a new, new public for this. You have to find uh, and then I took, took this girl, 28 year old, I think that every woman would like to be 28 year old. I think every man would also like to be 28 year old, because this is don't worry, be, don't worry, be happy age when you have, you know, moved away from home, you'll get your own uh, economy, you're, you're strong, you're uh, in a career, you, you, you care about yourself, you're, uh, you're, uh, your body's still in best shape. <laughs> And then when you grow older, you think that it was better. The, the good kids were not that good when they were 13, 13, 13, 14. And when you're 18, you, you look up to, to, to move away from home. So you can have a communi communication channel, channel through them. But they, it's not about saying, on Sunday, we have a football game. You have to find some, some other thing to, to attract uh, the woman. 
It men are much more easier to, to attract because it's just the same. Sunday is a game, and then if you like football, and you like the game, you go. So I looked into to a little bit more about the, 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 how does it look. And all of the, a lot of girls and women look up to a lot of women as, as role models. They look up to sports women, but not like we men are looking up to, to, to male athletes. They, 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 they look at them and say, hey, how, how can you manage to, to practice two times a day, go to a job in between, to, uh, to uh, perform that well and to also to, to take care of your body and uh, your, your health and the, the cost and everything. Normal people cannot go to job and then go to training afterward because it, you know, there is a very good TV program that they need again. So, so uh, there is another, and, and the, uh, the, the women uh, in, in Sweden, this is Swedish, uh, uh, Napoleon probably looks the same in a lot of Western countries, influence over 80% of the, the household's uh, purchases, but almost 90% of all sponsorship, even in female sport, is made products or business to business products. So for me, this created a, a, a quite interesting, uh, there is a possibility if you look at this numbers on the other way around. And then I created this picture to, to, to write and say, if we can have the, the girls to be, not try to be men, because well, that we always they, they wanted to be, as is to be like a boy player. And, and uh, all, all the small girls have men players as role models, not, not, not the girls. Not, uh, uh, so I took this picture and said, can, can you be what you are, ladies, girls? And you're fantastic girls, you perform fantastic well, you, you, you are 100% uh, uh, professional. And, and out of that to create something new. So I made a concept out of that and, uh, and uh, created a uh, shape name of this, this club. And uh, in 2007, they, they have their own name, they have their own profile. And uh, we started to, to make a marketing project where we went into to, uh, a profile that's not talking always about football, to, to uh, more talk about the performance of what they really would do. So this, uh, and then I also created a vision to, to, to create something that uh, is uh, to make a sporting and commercial example for women's sport that's bigger than football. So to not talk football, not talk, to the, talk local, Malmö, Sweden, and talk something, something bigger. At that point, I, I didn't know what I was talking about, but that was to put a vision just outside the box. 